Florence is still dumping rain on parts of North Carolina as it finally moves out of the region. The storm blamed for at least 24 deaths and widespread flooding that could get even worse. Meg Oliver has the latest from North Carolina. Floodwaters have cut off the coastal city of Wilmington from the rest of North Carolina. Officials are using high water vehicles to drive in emergency supplies. 23 truckloads of food, water, and supplies made it into Wilmington this morning, and other communities facing this are being addressed as well. It's not just Wilmington that's swamped. More than two feet of rain from Florence has left sections of Fayetteville, North Carolina, underwater. It's the same in the town of Pembroke. Swollen rivers from all the rain are spilling over onto streets. Hundreds of roads across the state are impassable. This trucker got stuck trying to get through high water, and the floods are expected to keep rising. It's come up at least four foot. Robert Sims believes the Cape Fear River will reach record high levels. You're nervous about the bridge? Yes, I'm very nervous because when you see stuff hit stuff, that creates more pressure. <laughs> In places like Newburn, where the water has already receded, people are beginning to assess damage and clean up. This man is trying to get his restaurant open again. Probably got, uh, I don't know, 15,000 gallons of water. We've already pumped out 7,000 gallons, so we're trying to get it dried out so we can, we can get open and get everything squared away. Almost half a million people began the day without power in North Carolina. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Lillington, North Carolina.